You're listening to E-Commerce Fastlane, Episode 17. Welcome to E-Commerce Fastlane, the podcast show to help you build, launch, grow, and scale a wildly successful e-commerce company. Listen to real conversations with proven practical strategies and success stories. Learn how to generate more traffic, more sales, more profit, and customer lifetime value for your Shopify store. And now, your host and e-commerce entrepreneur, Steve Hutt. Hey there, it's Steve, and uh, welcome back to another episode of the e-commerce fast lane podcast. Now, if this is your first time listening, this is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving online with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. Now, new episodes are available each week uh, in iTunes and Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, um, or you can sign up uh, online at ecommercefastlane.com and you can be notified when new shows are being released. Now, on today's episode, uh, I'm going to pose this question. Why is omni-channel uh, the holy grail of marketing automation? And that question, I think, is going to be answered today. You're going to learn uh, what omni-channel actually means kind of in the marketing automation sphere and kind of how uh, it helps kind of expand and target your reach and kind of retain more customers, which can, in the end will generate more revenue and kind of lifetime value uh, for your Shopify store. And so today I'm chatting uh, with Ritus Loris, who is the co-founder and the CEO of a marketing automation platform uh, called OmniSend. And uh, it's uh, exciting to have him on the show. So Ritus, uh, welcome. Hey, Steve. Nice to be here. Oh, my pleasure. And, you know, this is very near and dear to my heart because it's one of the topics that comes up quite a bit um, in my conversations with uh, clients and merchants is I, I, I ask the question about uh, email marketing and kind of what they're doing. And, and, and a lot of people have a lot of cursory knowledge about the benefits of having an email marketing solution. Um, but I think in today's episode, I think we're going to dig even deeper than more than just kind of having some of the basics in, in, in check. I think there is a lot of other strategies and tactics tactics that can really help elevate a brand. And uh, I'm excited to kind of dig into that. But just before we do that, I would love for you to tell me a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey uh, so far, kind of leading up to being involved in kind of building out this uh, OmniSend uh, platform. Yeah, absolutely. So actually, my uh, business journey has started uh, more than 15 years ago, uh, running, uh, running, establishing and running various different kind of businesses. Usually it was, it was more standard kind of businesses, not digital ones. But with Omnisend, with Omnisend story be began in 2013 and e-commerce expo London, actually. Then at that time, I used to run a digital marketing agency serving different kind of uh, clients, you know, building websites, uh, uh, doing some Facebook ads, uh, banners, including email marketing. And together with my co-founder, we were visiting that expo and we saw, look, uh, there is a specific need for those who are selling uh, stuff online, for online merchants. They have specific need and none of that time existing uh, email marketing tools are serving specifically them. So that's how we came up with the idea to launch, at that time, easy to use and affordable email marketing platform for uh, for online stores, uh, mainly for merchants, those small, small and medium ones, mainly starting ones. And yeah, so in about one year, we have launched we have launched uh, a platform uh, named Soundest at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, we have we have grown up to go uh, our customers uh, from serving really uh, small merchants to serving uh, larger larger brands, and from merchants to marketers. And uh, the journey was kind of re reflected by our. Um, rebranding which took part november 1st 2017 so last year we have rebranded to omniscient which really reflects our uh, new approach and our new belief uh, into like marketing automation and helping larger established businesses to do bear marketing uh, with automation with deep segmentation data driven and cross channel which is the most important thing just uh, for getting email as a sole channel and expanding it cross channel yeah, that makes sense. You know, as I mentioned at the top of the show, it's like the whole marketing automation topic is very top of mind from the people that I talk to and even former guests and stuff that I've had on the show. And so, you know, how is OmniSend kind of different? Because there's, you know, there's quite a few uh, solutions out there, some legacy partners um, and some different solutions that are out there. What is kind of differentiated, when, you know, now that we've kind of 
moved from the Soundus brand, moving over to OmniSend, and then obviously there's a roadmap and you're pivoting and, and uh, there's, there's some unique things about your platform. And I just, is it possible to kind of share some of those benefits today? Definitely. So at the very beginning, we kind of launched uh, launched Omnisend with uh, a, a unique angle of that automation. Uh, automation is 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 the future, and uh, traditional email marketing is not working, is not uh, efficient a- anymore. Although there are still uh, a lot of online stores who are doing those bulk email campaigns, email sending, email blast, etc. So we have yeah we have launched that idea, and uh, so. We, st- we really believe that uh, rich customer behavioral data uh, merged to- uh, with uh, browsing data, which we are able to extract uh, from Shopify uh, due to our deep integration uh, together uh, on- with a snippet, which uh, is embedded onto your front end, really enables us to to hyper target uh, your customers with the right message. And moreover, uh, which yeah, there are other solutions offering uh, this this kind of um, uh, approach and this kind of solutions, but uh, the, 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 the key difference when we talk of uh, about Omnisend is that a part of that, uh, we are enabling marketers to do uh, better better automation cross channel so a part of email just sending email it's uh, text messages fez- facebook custom audience and google customer match sync uh, as well as like instagram and youtube and google display network or like gmail ads being already live and like facebook messenger and push notifications uh, which are coming uh, later this year mm. till till the end of this year all of those channels will be uh, will be live in the single tool so that's 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 a key difference comparing to any other player in the market i see so omni so basically omni channel kind of approach basically um it's that seems something new it seems quite interesting that you're able to kind of package up a lot of these uh, interesting channels kind of all together into one solution so what would be kind of the main benefit for for e-commerce merchants by having all of this available in one platform so you know email it was always about retention and here at Amazon, we strongly believe that you know retention is much more cost efficient to, comparing to acquisition. And we have analyzed our our larger customers, which are already like sustainable and, and established businesses uh, data. And we came up with one like uh, surprisingly low number, I would say. Uh, taking the, the entire database of uh, contacts of email addresses which uh, uh, online stores have, uh, and we analyzed how many of those have opened at least one email, uh, either bulk campaign or automation, in three months. Okay. So it's only around 17%, as low as 17%. So I, on one hand, you kind of have a huge asset, email addresses in your mailing list or in your like, database, but you are able to reach a very small amount of them. Uh, and you kind of lose the opportunity to really retain your already existing customers. So that's why adding uh, other channels really help you to expand that potential reach. And for example, uh, having email addresses as a uh, unique ID across the web and synchronizing in real time with, uh, with Facebook, with Google Ads, it's really enabled you to, to use those email addresses in the most cost-effective way. For example, if I'm able to reach uh, the customer uh, sending emails, of course, it's the most cost-effective way. If I'm not able, so then uh, only then I'm showing like Facebook ads or Google retargeting ads to that specific person, not not wasting my marketing budget, you know. And uh, yeah, so, you know, marketing automation is always about like reaching your customers at the right time with the right message. So we are adding one more angle, which is very important as well. It's reaching them on the right channel. Right. And yeah, w- one of the example can be like, for example, like uh, shipping confirmation email. Uh, usually... Uh, Online stores, they're sending emails, just okay, we've got your order, uh, your order has been dispatched, so thank you, what is your feedback? And it's a really great uh, place to to upsell. And even though like no consent is being needed to send that kind of messages. So adding, for example, text messages or Facebook Messenger messages on top of that my, will help you really to increase the reach of your existing customers. Right. So... Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, you mentioned about the whole complexity part because that's the one thing that I'm thinking about now is that you've put a lot of great uh, uh, connections as omni-channel connections to different kind of channels and stuff. You're right. 
uh, that's the same research that I see too about uh, the open rate and the click through rates of email um, is lower than expected. But then um, having, as you said, having an ID, uh, a unique ID across the web, and being able to go into Facebook and, and Google and whatnot, I think it's very interesting that it's all kind of as part of one tool because I find that some of my merchants and clients, uh, I find their tech stack to be a little bit complex and a little bit disjointed because they'll have an email marketing solution that does something, helps them with email, but then they have an SMS solution. They've got something going on with retargeting. They've got something going on. There's always a bunch of different things happening. You're not sure if they're all talking to each other and they're not all kind of unified into one solution, which is, you know, and I think it's the reason why he changed the name and why this is all kind of coming together in a proper marketing automation solution, a complete solution. And I, I just, I really appreciate that. And maybe we can, I don't know if you can share with the listeners about just, you know, the complexity part, like, am, am I off topic saying that, Hey, the platform has lots in it, but is it complex and is, is and, and would it be easier to have separate applications like a lot of my merchants have or or can you see the benefit now and, and how you've you know architected omnisend now with a lot of these kind of pre-built in together yeah you're absolutely right and actually the current situation that everyone is uh, more or less like using all those different channels at some extent but uh, as you said this, this is a challenge for those uh, different solutions to talk to each other so i would say that they are never talking to each other yeah. Uh, that's Fair enough. Current, yeah, that's that's, that's, that's the current status <laughs> in the market. Yeah. So so yeah. like uh if you're doing if you're doing like Facebook retargeting and Google retargeting and email marketing and then and sending SMSs uh, via different different tools. So uh, usually you are losing the losing opportunity to to do it in the most cost effective way. Uh, but uh, you are not sure about uh, it's one thing, and you another another challenge is really the attribution. So why? Which channel did really work? Because you know, usually it's still like last click, last click attribution, and then you can see this, the same the same conversion being being marked for for like email marketing, for Facebook ad, and then for SMS message. Let's say, yeah. So so having all is, is so we strongly believe that having it all in one tool really uh, simplifies that and helps you uh, to to really use and utilize the benefits of all those uh, different channels. And like complexity, um, yeah, you're right. At the very beginning, as have, I have told you, that at the very beginning of uh, Soundus at the time, we had this vision to, to make it super easy to use solution. We still stick to that. And we believe that we should uh, provide with a tool which is easy to start. Uh, it's a bit more difficult to master, but it's always difficult to master anything in your life. Uh, so yeah, so for 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 like uh, migration period when someone is migrating from uh, different other tools and just starting is it's really it's really like easy to uh, to start benefiting from this uh, omnichannel stuff. Uh, and of course, yeah, it takes time for you to to master it, but I, I guess it's it's the way it should be. Yeah, and you know, I guess that does make sense though because it's like. Uh, the current method is by adding on additional marketing platforms or apps and, you know, the, the merchant or clients kind of making the decision saying, Hey, I want to get involved, um, with some retargeting. Um, and great. So then they go down that journey of learning and executing based on a separate app to do that sort of thing. And they keep adding on as they get more mature. So I guess it sounds very similar to what OmniSend is saying. Hey, listen, we have a, a lot of these connections are ready for you when you are ready. And, uh, and then when you are ready, go ahead and turn that on and go down that journey of activating it and then and then executing on it. And yeah, that's so, correct. Yeah. And the best that you can put it on like on a single flow and have more like customer journey approach, uh, not not different channels approach. I see. Okay. So let's talk about some, um, some automation and some workflows because, you know, I, I tend to share a lot, um, uh, with my merchants about, uh, these different sort of kind of flows or sequences and things that you may want to turn on with whatever solution you choose. And, um, maybe I can get you to share a few that, you know, work really, really well. Yeah. So definitely like Abundant cart reminder, cart recovery, how we call it. It's, it's the most popular, the most popular, and uh, it's kind of became a de default. So it's uh, it's still really super f effective. For example, like Snatcher, one of our clients, really, really large client, made uh, hundreds of, of thousands in US dollars just single 
using this single automation. Uh, but what we've done that then we launched like a browser abandonment, uh, we have added uh, we have added another uh, flow on top. So the best accuracy when, when you have in the, the highest intent when you know the person, exact person who has added something to a shopping cart. Right. Uh, but if you are not able to identify that person adding or maybe the one has not added anything to a shopping cart. So there is another automation which identifies that, for example, Steve was browsing uh, product A and product B, and you know after that sending uh, browse uh, browse abandonment emails and browse abandonment messages via different channels, reminding that okay you were looking at those products and adding a recommender on top, and you may also like those products which are somehow related. And the, yeah, and another like the most effective workflows uh, are kind of like which are customized according to your needs. For example, we have a client, the Cake Store, which is really like established the business for more than one hundred years in the market. It's a family family business uh, here in London, and uh, and you know they were sending they were sending like well, campaigns, mm-hmm. uh, which were fairly effective, but they're use case is so so different that you know usually people are buying cakes for some occasions and those occasions tend to happen like annual usually so what they've done that we uh, they made a custom workflow that they are sending a reminder that okay we know that new occasion is coming in two weeks just you know after 340 days after the last purchase and you know it's so effective that it has increased uh, conversion rate by 32 times Wow. Comparing to buy, you know, comparing to just simple campaigns. Right. And it's kind of funny that you mentioned that because uh, in my previous startup in the contact lens business, that was one of the challenges that we had. We knew that uh, the product was consumable, meaning that, you know, you could wear contacts for, you know, three to six months, depending on the type. And it was imperative for us to figure out a solution to how do we delicately and gently remind them that their contacts are likely running out. And at that time, we're talking 2009, 10, 11 in that range, there really wasn't a great solution out there to automate the process of reminding them, hey, we think your Active Oasis contacts are running out because you bought them here and they have a you know a shelf life of this long. Or even like in the supplement market, imagine people selling supplements and getting a 90-day supply or 60-day supply. And how do you remind them? And that was the challenge we had. We had to actually just in the order, we had to put notes in there of a re- re- order reminder note inside the order. And then we had to then just run a report once a week and then export them out to then go and send these messages. So there was no kind of automated process. So it's great to see that OmniSend has a solution now that you can kind of create your own kind of, you know, custom kind of automated rules based on your business. If it's a subscription based business, if it's just like a one off or in this case, like the cake opportunity, like cake idea, or hey, you know what? Or, you know, there's other opportunity. Maybe uh, there's certain particular dates that are important Mother's Day, Father's Day, certain types of anniversary. There's all, I mean, so many different opportunities of, of uh, almost having a one on one relationship with your customer. Yeah, you definitely, know? definitely. It's, 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 you know, all the idea of like automation and all those personalized messages is really to, uh, to get uh, out of, out of, uh, spray and pray uh, kind of messages to, yeah. <laughs> to really, hey, hey, I know you, I know you, uh, I, I, I try to know you better as my customer. I, I want to serve you better. So that, that's the, that's the key idea. Yeah. And definitely, yeah, there's, there's a solution for that. So are there any other, um, what, what other workflows that, uh, that you feel are, are, are of powerful uh, use case that you can kind of share. Order updates. I would I would like to mention like order updates. Mm. Uh, they are really great to upsell, and they uh, can really be done uh, cross channel. Uh, like not not even sending sending like mm, emails, but sending text messages, and sending uh, Facebook Messenger messages, etc. So so what's good with them? I know that like for US based companies is not that important, but it's getting more and more about like data privacy. So, uh, and GDPR, like European kind of, uh, stuff, uh, that, uh, you know, it, it requires you to have this consent or, or there might be a contract. So, uh, so this is like order updates. It's, it's a part of contract. You shouldn't have a consent. So again, about, uh, reaching more of your existing customers with an upsell message. 
So that's that's uh, the flow, which is very effective as well. It really it enables you to reach a bigger audience comparing to your subscribers list. I see. So I'll pivot over to another question, more about kind of the segmentation of these customers. We're kind of, you know, we, we briefly touched on the whole one-on-one -on -one kind of marketing, but segmentation is definitely a, a topic that people are discussing and, and it's, it's a, it's a core concept inside Shopify about, you know, tagging customers and uh, being able to use that data accordingly. And so uh, do you have anything that you can share about kind of how Omnisend is, I guess, is, is helping merchants uh, basically segment and segmentation of them and then how they're able to execute on these different segments? Definitely. So due to uh, deep integration with Shopify and Shopify Plus, so uh, we have a really powerful segmentation tool with, within an Omnisend. So it uh, it allows uh, to to really uh, create specific uh, group specific audiences based on their behavioral data, like uh, purchasing behavior, which we which the data which we get from from your online store, uh, combined with browsing data which we collect ourselves. And it's really like uh, specific, really specific segments might be created. And here on Omnisend, we, uh, based on those segments, we not only allow you to send emails, but we allow you to share those, uh, those segments to uh, Facebook, to Google, to really, again, expand, expand your reach and target specific groups, uh, which uh, you would like to target. As I have already mentioned, for example, you know, just, just target those who have not read your emails. Uh, for for some time, or just launch some reactivation, for example, campaign. Which usually reactivation campaign done uh, via email is not that effective. But reactivation campaign combined, like email with uh, Google ads, with Facebook ads, Instagram, uh, YouTube ads, uh, is much more effective. Right. And it's funny about these whole, I always think about these flows and segmentation because there's a few that kind of come to mind too that I tend to talk about quite a bit, but a lot of my merchants or clients are not implementing them and things like a, even like a welcome sequence as, as, as interesting as it is, a lot of people don't have it. Like just even creating an account and just a, a personal recommendation from, uh, or a welcome from, you know, the owner or someone from the brand, um, I think, I think is, is, is quite powerful to kind of build, uh, to building a brand is by having a nice welcome sequence or Things like win back. I know you kind of mentioned it, but like it's just someone makes a, a one off purchase. Uh, it's, it's great that OmniSend would, would have the opportunity to be able to, well, how do we win back these customers where they only made one purchase? I think that's interesting that you're able to uh, send an email out um, uh, or omni channel sort of messages going out and saying, hey, you made this purchase back here or only one off and oh, it's a new season now or, you know, whatever the dates are. And then, you know, you're uh, now communicating with this merchant and bringing them back to the store. I think that's really cool. You know, other other ones, you know, that that I see a lot, but just like repeat customer kind of email series, like if they've, if they've if they keep buying, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's the going saying is, 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 is interesting that, you know, it's, it's easier to maintain your, ex your existing customers and enjoy the lifetime value out of your existing customers than it is kind of acquiring new customers. And so does Omnichan kind of work in that realm too, about how we can cultivate and kind of nurture repeat customers? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it might be some different sequences based on, again, based on segmentation. So segment might be done by, for example, if there is uh, Steve who have bought once, uh, so start start sending this uh, with the sequence. If, uh, if uh, Steve is a VIP customer and has already bought for 10th time in let's say one year so you can you can do an, another sequence and like treat him as a vip customer and tell him that okay steve you are really a vip customer we appreciate that and therefore we're giving you some but i don't know some great offer maybe you inviting you or for some offline event you know mm. uh absolutely it's, it's it's a great idea to you know treat your customers differently based on their uh, spend your chair, I would say, yeah. on your store, and you have a loyalty. Yeah, that's. What I was just going to mention that about the whole loyalty and kind of reward side of it too, because that would seem like an interesting way of connecting an omni-channel approach to uh, to a loyalty or rewards type solution, and how that's all connected. Um, is there a current solution or plans about uh, how OmniSend can connect to a loyalty type solution? Yeah. So uh, now via our, our open API. 
any kind of data, including loyalty points, can be can be stored and can be used for segmentation. And yeah, so and we have a roadmap. Uh, we have a roadmap even for this year to to make uh, some integrations for specifically like Shopify uh, loyalty programs like uh, Loyalty Lion, uh, Smile.io, and S Loyalty. Just, just to be to be sure that uh, you know for Shopify merchants and Shopify Plus merchants, it's the most convenient way to to use different solutions, which I really, really fit together. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, we're nearing the end of the show. Um, do you have, kind of have any closing comments that uh, you'd like to share uh, with our listeners? Sure. So you know, uh, here at Amazon, we really believe that commerce or retail has already became or uh, becoming real omnichannel, but the marketing is a bit behind. Uh, as we already talked that, you know, although uh, online stores, they are using different channels, but they are not using it on in the right way and in, in thinking about the customer journey on, on, on one flow of communication. So, so we are here, we are mission is really to help merchants to, to change this uh, approach and to really start, start seeing uh, uh, entire, entire marketing and marketing automation by different channels as uh, as one one thing and like we we're really really here for help smart marketers to achieve better results and like repeatable and sustainable results yeah and uh, like you know our results uh, in in past year when we have started focusing more on those larger larger online stores and and this omni channel that we have helped uh, like to increase 70 like higher open rates by 70 percent increase open rates by 70 percent and uh, what's even better that uh, engagement by 85 percent and we have like drived uh, four times more orders through like automation sequences comparing to like bulk email campaigns so i think it's like a great proof of uh, of the right direction and then that our vision is correct and we stick to that and uh, we really want to advocate it and help people to to believe in this omnichannel approach and to start using it and benefiting from that of course yeah definitely yeah, definitely you know and it's the same things i mentioned that you know it just i think it, it, it doesn't have to be complex we don't have to have multiple apps running concurrently that aren't talking to each other and i think that's the unique thing that omni send uh, that i want to get across today is that that i believe that you've uh, that you have the right approach that you know customers are everywhere and you have to kind of be there where they are and you know to continue getting that engagement and the open rate and improving your conversion rate it's you ha- you have to kind of be where the customers are and sometimes they're not always opening their email you said 17 to 20 percent maybe are opening and clicking through um you know and that could be a, a low number whereas you know you hear a lot about messenger you hear a lot about kind of um you know facebook and instagram and there's lots of interesting connections and things that are going on and i, I find it great that um that you're giving giving uh, a merchant the opportunity to kind of say, well, let's get into marketing automation through email, and then let's slowly start activating other parts of the OmniSend uh, solution um, you know, in an effort to continue growing a brand. How can the listeners learn more about uh, the OmniSend platform? Like, where can they go? So it's like definitely as this uh, podcast is for Shopify online stores. So Shopify App Store, just visit Shopify App Store and then enter Omnisend or Marketing Automation. And you're going to find us a lot of great reviews there. So just explore and you can install easily and start using it. And of course, Omnisend.com. And we have a great offer for the listeners of your podcast, Steve. Yeah, uh, I know. We just we just chit-chatted before we started recording yeah. and I, I massively appreciate that. I think it's uh, really cool that you're offering uh, 30% off uh, for three months on either the uh, standard or pro plans and I'm going to uh, create a redirect and I'll put it in the show notes so ecommercefastlane.com uh, forward slash Omnisend and that will redirect uh, to a coupon code that you can use and uh, it's certainly worth uh, giving the solution a try I really feel that um, you're not necessarily the first or last to market when it comes to this but the, the size of the e-commerce uh, ecosystem and the amount of merchants that are out there I really feel that it's time for uh, people to at least uh, have a look at your solution and at least have them come to the table and see what you're all about um, we don't necessarily have to always go to the usual suspects of other uh, legacy uh, uh, marketing platforms that are out there. There are some great solutions, no doubt, that are out there. Uh, but I also feel that uh, the reason why I wanted to have you on the show today is because I feel that you are leading edge by kind of putting a lot of the omni-channel approach into one solution. And, you know, and then being so kind to offer this 30% discount uh, for the first three months is, uh, is, is excellent. I really do really appreciate that. 
hopefully it will help you know customers to, to to explore and start benefiting from Omniscient. Yeah, and you can only you can only find out by trying it out, and uh, it's really simple. Uh, you know, right in your admin, uh, go to the App Store, uh, look up OmniSend, and uh, add it to your store, and uh, uh, just it's a pretty straightforward process. So. Yeah, or you well, can uh, just request a demo, and we our account managers will gladly you know help you and show what what is what are the benefits of OmniSend. So. Uh, beautiful. And then uh, if you choose to kind of use the OmniSend solution, then I guess we can do uh, some kind of an onboarding and kind of uh, migrate over existing list and kind of help uh, kind of get uh, things set up. For sure. For sure. Okay. Beautiful. Well, uh, Redis, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thanks to you for inviting me. All right. Have yourself a great day. Likewise. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed my conversation today with Redis from OmniSend. You know, after recording this episode, it was clear to me that in order to generate more revenue, it all begins with kind of understanding your customer shopping behavior. You know, I, I love the fact that OmniSend kind of connects the dots and provides actionable data kind of based on your customer's attributes and browsing behavior and kind of interactions with your Shopify store. Now, you likely have an email solution connected to your store at the moment and you know, potentially other marketing apps. Uh, so this is likely a great time to have a look at OmniSend and see how affordable and extremely powerful this platform actually is. So check them out, uh, omnisend.com, or you can go to the Shopify app store and uh, get a free trial. And don't forget the 30% off coupon uh, is Fastlane uh, if you choose to uh, get one of their paid plans. Well, thanks again for uh, taking time on your busy day today and listening to the show. I truly appreciate you and your desire to level up your skills and your knowledge uh, in your entrepreneurial journey with commerce powered by Shopify. Enjoy the rest of your week and take care.